Yeah, so we started this video talking about the year of Sanji. So y'all already know I had to respect the whole cake of wedding fit my boy had on. Look how drippy sun is. I know y'all see the yellow accents and that little jacket he got on. I had to respect the fit. Try to come out a little, you know what I'm saying? A little dressed up myself. Tangent aside though, I know y'all clicked on this video, seen the thumbnail saying Elbaf is not Usopp's archie. Y'all wondering what does Sanji and Whole Cake Island have any correlation with what's going on in Elbaf at the moment for Usopp in particular? And to answer y'all question, it's a little correlation, not too much, I ain't gonna lie. But like I said at the beginning of the video, we're here to talk a little bit about the year of Sanji because I feel like this concept in particular of year of Straw Hats kind of threw off expectations for Straw Hats going forward in the future arcs of the story. Now, the year of Sanji was something that Oda had mentioned that was coming before we got to Whole Cake Island. And the year of Sanji it was, I'm not gonna lie. I think this was announced before he even had his fight with Luffy. I think Luffy was still fighting Cracker at this point, well before the wedding before the pudding betrayal him standing up to his family making the cake for big mom so i would say that whatever year it was it definitely was a year for sanji for sure whether you liked whole cake island or not you can't deny that he had a lot of great and not so great moments in the arc and i feel like that encapsulates what the year of sanji was supposed to be it was so impactful even picked up again in wano where he had the whole german transformation where he was fighting queen so i'm tapping to his german side where his eyebrow flipped and he put his hands on women for the first time if you don't count Big Mom, because he did strike her in Whole Cake Island. I ain't forget about that boy. See, another inspiration for this video was one that Tony Stadovici had put up some weeks back. Shout out my boy Tony. He was basically talking down on Usopp, talking about he's the worst straw hat, his character development is mid, and he doesn't really have much growth to be expected of moving forward. Which I feel like is incredible, Cap. Because obviously we know Usopp has ties to the Giants going back all the way to Little Garden. We've seen him interact with the Giants again on NES Lobby. We've even seen the Giants praise him in Dress Rosa. How he lifted that man up like he was Jesus. Clearly there is more for Usopp, but he did bring up a good rationale for supporting why he believes that all of this Giant hype is kind of just there to be there. We are talking about Zoro and going into Wano, how he didn't really have that many character moments per se. Now, I'll agree and disagree with this. I don't feel like Zoro was expanded on as much as he could have been in Wano, especially now finding out that he has ties to Wano through direct family. Finding that shit out in the SBS was just insane. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I get Oda doesn't really push the bloodlines of the Straw Hats in the story like that, but I just feel like for a main character to have his shit pushed in SBS is pretty crazy. But even if you take that out of it, I do think Zoro had a lot of great moments in Wano. Case in point, that joint attack that Big Mom and Kaido sent his way, blocking it, and still being able to stand after was crazy. Zoro was able to take out King as well, and he got his hands on Enma before he left. How is it as many moments as us fans who have been looking forward to Wano may have wanted from him? Nah, probably not. This also goes back into the year of Sanji conversations because I know that it was not just me that heard about a year of Zoro at some point. And that's not to say Oda brought it up. I don't think he brought it up this time around, but the year of Zoro thing was definitely going around. I think it was because of the year of Sanji, we're going to Wano, all of that shit. At the end of the day, is it on us fans to eventually get disappointed when we see that Oda wasn't the one that actually brought up this year of Zoro thing? We see Zoro doesn't have that many moments. The expectations that we had weren't met. Yeah, it's on us because why would we bring up these expectations for? On the other hand, it's like Zoro did go to the land of swordsmen. Like, why would the expectations not be for him to have these big moments? I'm going to talk about another character who literally was supposed to be the face of Egghead in the next arc after Wano, Frankie. Crazily enough, in this arc, I think we get more hints to Frankie's family. Allegedly, you know, the Queen connection, everything like that. That was also revealed in the SBS. We get Sanji family ties in the year of Sanji and Whole Cake. Zoro family ties in the year of Zoro in Wano. And then Frankie family ties, allegedly, in Egghead, which was an arc that was supposed to quote-unquote feature Frankie Heavy. Again, this is fans that are really doing all of these things, like thinking Frankie was going to have a highlight reel of the Egghead Island arc. But it's not on unbased grounds completely, right? I mean, Frankie was on Baltimore for the time skip, so he has ties to Vegapunk to some degree. A lot of the technology he has now, remember he had to build himself from the ground up, likely came from Vegapunk's research. Fans wanted to see more interaction between Frankie and Vegapunk. I feel like it's completely warranted. And it's so crazy how this picture that I just randomly found on Google has the exact same notions that I'm talking about right now. Expecting this arc to be something for Frankie when it ended up not being the case at all. That's okay, because Egghead still ended up being a lit arc. I still think it was better than Wano. To a degree, I also think that fans have a right to be upset that Frankie didn't get as much focus in this arc as he probably should have. Yeah, it was a lot going on at Egghead, but I still do think that there was ways that they could have had more moments before what ended up happening happened. So now we get into the boy wonder himself, God Usopp. Why I believe all the claims that Tony was saying that Usopp is not going to have his arc at Elbaf is completely false. All the year of Sanji shit out the picture, all the year of Zoro shit out the picture, all the expectations for Frankie of Egghead out of the picture real quick. 
We just talking straight Usopp right now. Straight ISO on Usopp. This man Usopp has literal ties to Giants going back to Little Garden, as I said. He admires them, reveres them. From day one meeting them, he wanted to get down like those boys. And that has carried on from then all the way to where we are in the story currently crazy this little shadow got me look like i got an afro bro like don't don't watch that <laughs> you know what i'm saying i got the fresh cut this admiration is a lot deeper than just him wanting to get down with the giants he's had aspirations of being a brave warrior of the sea for the longest time he attributes being a warrior to those warriors that are on elbap to those giants that have been fighting from lord knows how long to when they were when they got to little guard i'm saying all that admiration is deep when we see dorian Broggy come back again in egghead he literally screams masters upon sight of them too y'all know Oda, bro Oda doesn't do nothing by accident there's a reason why he's doing all of these things with Usopp and having him interact with the giants the way he has for so long but Usopp has said for the longest time he eventually wants to visit the land of the giants why Oda has been pushing and hammering this into us for lord knows how long that he wants to visit Elba it's because some way or another simply put Usopp is just meant to have an arc in Elba think about it like this what else has Usopp done in this time skip that was really for real relevant and helped the straw hats outside of what he did with luffy and law back in dressrosa <laughs> i'm waiting not a goddamn thing unless you count film red which uh, is not even it's canon but like uh, like come on like, my point being is that there's no way usopp is just staying here went through the whole two-year time skip has done nothing really of relevance since dressrosa and it's just gonna continue to be nothing like that's just not how the straw hats operate we have multiple straw hats that don't have hockey confirmed yet up until this point but they still contribute you got nami with zeus robin doing her thing with uh you know the demon flower shit that she be doing uh, frankie took out senior pink back in the day even chopper slapped the shit out of queen i'm not saying Usopp hasn't had more moments like obviously he did knock out sugar and that did play a big part in the liberation of dress rosa so let me put a little bit more respect on bro's name but Usopp himself will tell you that he still till this day even with the god Usopp moniker does not feel like a brave warrior of the sea at all and knowing how important dreams are in one piece executing those dreams i just don't feel that Usopp is not going to have a moment or time to shine in this art the question is how much time is he going to get to shine in this art but i do think it's levels like if we even take it from the year of sanji to to Zoro and Wano to Frankie and Egghead it's literally levels to how much moments straw hats that we expect to get are going to get in any given arc. I'm willing to bet though that Usopp is going to have as much done for his character as Sanji did in Whole Cake Island. You gotta think after Elbaf what else is there for us to really expect with these characters in terms of much growth? You got Raftel, Mary Joa, and that's about it. So in that span of time where is Usopp going to become a brave warrior of the sea if not here in Elbaf with all the brave warriors that he looks up to? I really do feel like Oda has a lot planned for Usopp in his arc, and I'm praying that I'm right on that, man. Usopp's a character with so much potential. He's more than just a gag, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. That's all I got for y'all for this video. Y'all leave y'all thoughts in the comments. Do y'all think Usopp is going to have his moments in Elbaf? Is 2025 gonna be the year of Usopp? Y'all let me know. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, share, do all those things. And until next time, I've been your host, Jay Suave. I hope you've been entertained, and we'll talk soon. Peace, y'all.